Welcome, welcome to uh, Matt Kennedy's uh, mono slab video. I've done a thousand of these things, but I got some time to kill, so I thought I thought I'd do this for Matt. Try, see uh, how quick I can do it. And I already did it once, but I forgot to turn on the uh, recording. So anyway, here's the house right here, Matt. Right there, nothing to it, right? Uh, F6. And I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this into a garage by stretching that wall across there. And I want to put a porch right over here, don't I? Right. Now, because I'd already done this first, uh, Chief uh, recognized that that was going to be a porch and that was going to be a uh, garage. So, what, so since it's a porch, where it should be minus four, it remember that too. Yeah, okay, anyway, so that's a porch, minus four. It's dropped down four inches. Here's my garage, and remember this too. I want the garage down to six inches, okay? That's, that's, the, that's the way I do it. Uh, uh, control one, here's the uh, door from the house into the garage. Now, here's a question. Uh, Anyway, uh, I don't have a foundation yet. I'm going to build a foundation. I'm going to build a mono slab foundation. Uh, build foundation. It's going to be a mono slab. Uh, added slab footings. They're going to be 12 by 22. Perfect. Okay, now let's see how this automatically builds. I'm going to do this automatically, and then I'm going to do one uh, manually. And what I did was uh, 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 shift G. Here you go. That's, that's what cheap built right out of the box. That's not bad, is it? Not bad. A couple of issues, though. You can see the footings are different heights right there. You see that? Different heights. Well, how do you fix that? Uh, here you go, right here. Uh, I, I break this right here, and I say, well, this one, the slab's dropped down uh, four inches, so I, the footing has to be four inches shallower, 18. Now it's going to line up. See, it lined up right that. What about this one here? See this thing hanging down over here? i got to do the same thing. Come down here, 18 inches. Done. Now what about this? What about this? Now this is the tricky part. I, 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 okay, first of all, I don't like the specs right here. Okay, I don't like the specs. But what I, what I had done is I had taken this wall, you, and uh, I had actually it came in as an eight-inch concrete stem wall. I actually copied that and just gave it no fill because that's the way I work it. So there it is, eight inch. It's the same same wall. All I did is got rid of the fill. Okay, and so now it reads better. I'm turn off the uh, rep set. Now it reads better. Okay. I don't, I don't like the specs on this thing right here and here. So I'm going to do the same for these two walls here. One, two. I'm just going to change the wall type, U, two, uh, garage. And that gets rid of the fill. That's all I did. Okay. Now, now let's see if I can. Uh, okay. Now I know i, I got to change this height. And I'm back up. You see this footing right here? It's dropped down. U. Uh, 12. I, I usually make my garage footings just a little bit wider, just so it won't connect with the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Just, to, but I, but I gotta shorten the height of the footing because it's taking its cue from the finished floor level. So uh, floors drop down six inches, so I gotta raise the footing up six inches. Right there. Now it's now it's in line. Uh, do the same thing on this footing right here. Change it to 16. Okay. Now it's all in line. Uh, now. Now take a look at these footings right here. Now the uh, this will be interesting to see what happens here. You you think I change it to uh, see what happens? Yeah, you got to break those. You got to break that. Control B, break it. And this one needs to be two inches deeper. You because it's at the porch there. And now it's going to line. Yeah. Now that thing is lining up with a garage footing. And now you got to do the same thing over here. Control B, break. This is going to be taking this cue from the porch, so raise that up uh, 18, uh, 4 inches, so it's 18, and raise this one up since it's taking its cues from the garage, raise it up 6 inches, not 4 inches, so it's got to be 16. Oops, did I do this one right? Uh, maybe it's taking its cue from the uh, garage. Yeah, I guess it is. And... Uh, it, it doesn't really build quite correctly here. So what you got to do is you got to put a CAD line here. Uh, cancel, uh, tab, tab, take that CAD line U and just put it on the slab layer, I guess. So it takes on the same line, line, style, line style. And you, and you get and so now you get that, whatever it was. And then on W, and you don't want this line here, I don't think. So what you got to do is a CAD line there, tab, tab, U, change the line style to 50 and make it white. And now you're going to get the, um, now you're going to get that, oops, you. You think I made the line style too big? Oh, 580. How about 50? There. See, and now that is reading better, isn't it? Isn't that reading better? Okay. Uh, let's dimension this thing real quick. 
uh, auto dimension shift A. Now you see that garage door right there, 16 foot 2. It's a 16 foot wide garage door. So you really you think you want to have a bigger curb cut, right? Rough opening is 1 inch. I want to add a half inch on each side, so 0.5. Now if I go downstairs, yeah, see, now 16 foot 3, 1 and a half inch wider on each side. Go up here. Put a man door in here. Control 1 right there. Uh, go down here. Take this dimension. And uh, I didn't think you could do this, but I guess you can snap to this thing, which is pretty slicko. But it's it's uh, three foot two. It's three foot doors. So it's only a one inch bigger on both sides. But we want a bigger curb cut, right? Let's go down here. You select it and uh, add for concrete curb cut. 0. 0.5. Now it should read three, three foot three on the bottom. See, not bad. I get the fact that you get a line right here. That's again where you have to come over here and do the your white. Because of the way I do things, I have to do this if if I wanted to read right where where the line go Boop. there it is you change it to uh, line style uh, 50 and a white line and now it's gonna read better well you thought it was you line style 50 how about 100 no oh because it's the, I guess it's the dimension that that's uh, it's, it's the dimension yeah it's the dimension so it, it, t uh, nuts, nuts, slabs. Change the line weight to uh, fifty. And yeah, now it's reading better. You got me. It's just that dimension line. That, that's what you're seeing right there. So there you go. And that's that's pretty darn good. That's how the slabs work in uh, the automatic slabs. But suppose you want to do your own uh, slab. It's an addition, and you got to come back here and do something else. Here we go. Go upstairs. I'm going to put another garage. I'm going to put another garage on the back side here, right? Uh, shift R. I'm going to put a wall right here. This is where my garage is going to be. One, two. Uh, control, control four. Put a uh, Control four, put a garage door right there. Okay, now you want this. It's, I labeled it a because it's remembering you. Oh, okay, but I want the garage to be dropped down six inches, right? So I take the floor and drop it down minus six, right? What happened? <gasps> Look what happened. The whole the whole slab dropped down, didn't it? The whole slab dropped down. You know why? Because you don't have a room down below in the, the the slabs. Control C. I just copy those walls. Let's go over here. Six to paste in place. Now I'm going to turn those into U wall type, uh, 12 inch concrete stem wall, um, uh, 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 foundation, specify foundation, yes, curb width. I want to just want to be an eight inch curb width. There. Okay, I still got a problem, but I still have a problem there, don't I? Because the floor up above is still recognizing minus six. All I do is go over to here, raise it up to zero. And now you can see that now you can see that uh, all, now everything's hunky dory, and that's automatically built. Cut. Oh, all right. Now let's. Now I gotta. I gotta. Uh, uh, butts with this thing a little bit. Take this thing, and you can see the uh, ref set below there. See the ref set below. Pull it over to here. Right. I like to flip these things so that. Uh, so the so the main layer is right on that ref set. I so I gotta flip this one too. Okay. <laughs> I swear I did this before. I didn't have that extra lip there. I, I don't I don't I, sometimes I get that extra lip and I F twelve. Oh now it's fixed. Is it fixed? No, not real not really. Why isn't it fixed? I swear sometimes this gives me a little bit of a hard time. Sometimes it doesn't. U minus six, that's right. Oh, uh, oh, there. I guess I, it doesn't automatically update. Maybe you just have to go over there and make this stem wall 10 inches. Yeah, I think that did it. Yeah, good to go, buddy. There you go. And again, you got to come back here and select. Uh, see, now this is what I was talking about. Uh, get rid of my ref set. See, I don't have the curb right there. And if I break it, I guess I'll get the curb. Oh, maybe I have to just go U. Curb width is 8. And because of uh, you know I like my wall type like this, the garage without the fill, you think that's going to fix it? Yeah, I guess it did. Sometimes it just 
well, maybe it was me. Maybe I didn't know what I was doing. Maybe you don't have to change that the footing by half inch, which is what I was doing. Just change the curve with the eight, and they should stay separate, I guess. I got to change uh, you. Got to change this to wall type of uh, garage. Yep, and now it should be good. Good to go, buddy. And now that thing flashed back again, didn't it? See, check that out. You. Oh, I got I got to change the stem wall to ten. Yeah, sometimes it does that. There, at least it's fixed now. You. And now you got to go back here and uh, tab you uh, raise this up uh, six inches and change that to sixteen. You got the drill. I already did that once. And come over to here. You change this to sixteen. And it's not it's not in line, is it? <laughs> it's not I swear, man. It's F twelve. It'll fix itself, I think. You there. Now it's fixed. <laughs> you just got to go in there and, and and do that stuff. And so now it's fixed. It's good enough. And then you can fix the uh, garage curve like uh, I did before and stuff. So that's uh, that's how you kind of create your own manually built ones. If if, if you don't want to do uh, uh, what layer is this thing on? Uh, bomb. That's on. Uh, see, I think I give footings. I think that should not the footings. It should be the uh, slabs. Uh, a walls foundation. Make that fifty. Now it's going to read better. Oops, I did it again. Uh, walls. Oh, 580. How did I do 580 again? 50. 50. Yeah, now it reads pretty good. Again, you got to put your white line right there. If you, if, wait, I'll do it real quick for you. A w, white line right there. Select that line, U, line style. Uh, how about 70? Change it to white. And you, you're going to see that it kind of it reads better now. And that's that's just my own deal the way I, anyway. There you go, bud. That's, that's the end, Matt. Uh, enjoy the weekend.